and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I'm Alicia and this is your weekly source for the best tips and tools for pain relief and feeling unstoppable. And today I'm going to answer the question, what is the number one thing that affects fascia? People often will ask me, you know, is it important that I stay hydrated? Does water intake matter when it comes to the health of your fascia? That's probably the number one question I actually get asked uh, by my clients in the office and my answer is pretty much always the same. Water matters, yes. Hydration levels matter, yes. You want that fascia to be hydrated and springy, but what actually lubricates the fascia the most is blood flow. Um, but the number one thing that affects it is actually stress. And uh, go figure, right? <laughs> uh, kind of the number one thing that affects pretty much all of our systems, but um, the reason it affects fascia specifically uh, is Every nerve ending in our body is coated in a piece of fascia. So our nervous system is directly linked to fascia and whatever happens through the nervous system affects the fascia directly. So I've noticed a really interesting thing with my clients through the years um, that I think I would have only noticed, you know, working with uh, a lot of people over a long period of time, there have been some consistent things happening. and. People who are really high strung, who I call kind of like wiry, um, they're like, you know, just kind of on all the time and looking at their phone and ready for the next thing. And a lot of the time it's business people or entrepreneurs tend to have wiry fascia. So their fascia responds to that nervous system personality type of being kind of like on all the time. So they have a harder time letting go and their fascia actually tends to stay more wiry and stringy and doesn't let go and become supple as often or as well as people who, let's say, know how to manage stress and relax and chill out and let go. Now, I'm not a stress relief expert, <laughs> so I'm not gonna really you know, tell you how to relieve stress and maybe go find other people to help you with that, but the more you can manage your stress and kind of you know, find ways to chill out and play and have fun with life, actually will affect your fascia to um, a pretty considerable degree. So always, you know, like no matter what, getting stress out of our lives is, is beneficial, but it also is for your fascia as well. Now, um, I kind of feel like I have to say in this same context that emotional stress will also significantly affect the fascia. And there's been quite a bit of talk about how fascia is connected to um, you know, storing emotion, and I've actually found that to be very, very true. A lot of people that come to me end up having emotional releases when we get at, uh, after and get into some of those really restricted areas where maybe stuff has been stored um, in the fascia. So it's just really kind of fascinating to me. Um, you know, all the thoughts that we think run through the nervous system, and depending on your personality type or what's going on in your life, the thoughts you think will give you perhaps a strong emotion, and that will affect the fascia so just something to be aware of and consider and um, so if you're going after your own fashion you have an emotional release that's not unusual so just keep that in mind and the more you can chill out and enjoy life and be less stressed the healthier your fascia will be for the full blog post accompanying this video click the link below and if you found it interesting then maybe share it and uh, I will see you next time on Mobility Mastery Monday